Hello guys, welcome to Code Vedana. Today we will see how we can create a QR code generator application in Android. So I have typed this string Code Vedana. And now when I press on the generate, it will generate a QR code. Now I'll try some another string. And again click on the generate and we have a different QR code. Now type some another random string and I generate for this so without wasting much time let's go for coding now so for generating the QR code we will use this library QR generator which is from Android Mads so scroll down and uh, first of all we have to include this gradle dependency so just copy them now go to Android Studio, open this app level build.gradle file. Now paste the dependencies here. And uh, there is some warning, so let's see. Okay, so we have a newer version suggested by the Android Studio. So now click on this link now. Okay, so our project is synced now. So close this Gradle file and uh, move to the main activity layout file. So first of all, we will change this constraint layout to linear layout compact. And uh, we have to add a orientation vertical and uh, we will add gravity. Gravity to the center okay so now first of all we have to add a image view to show the QR code generated so image view with height and width of 300 pp okay and uh, give it a id so that we can access it I will give QR code. So now we will add a edit text to get the input string from the user. So it will be of match parent and the height is rep content. And we will add a margin of 20 dp. And now we will add hint. So hint will be enter text to generate a QR code. Now add a ID to this as well. I will give a ID as text field. Now we will add a button. So type button with height and width of rep content and uh, type the text as generate. And uh, we will give a ID to this as generate. Generate. And uh, that's it. This is the simple layout of our application. As you can see. Now let's go to the Kotlin code. So in this tutorial, I will be using view binding. So if you do not have any idea about view binding, just click on the I button. So view binding just replaces the find view by ID method. If you are not using view binding then you have to find all the elements using the find view by id method now i will access all the elements using this binding class directly so binding dot generate and uh, i will add a on click listener on this generate button so set on click listener now on the click event first of all we will extract the text from the edit text 
to the binding to the text field dot text dot to string so now we will create a instance of the encoder so encoder and uh, initialize qrg encoder so in the constructor first of all we have to pass the string which we want to convert into a qr code then second parameter will be null then in the third parameter we have to pass the time of the content so qrg contains dot type dot text if you have any different type of a content you can choose the appropriate a type and the last parameter is the dimension of the generated qr code bitmap so for a better uh, visibility of the qr code i will choose the size as 800 pixel and uh, now we have to show this show the generated qr code in the image view so binding dot qr code and uh, set image bitmap now we have to get the bitmap from the encoder so encoder dot bitmap and uh, that's all the code we need to put for the generating qr code so this is uh, quite easy now let's run the application and uh, we will wait for the gradle build to finish so our app is launched successfully and uh, now let's type a string so there is some problem from the uh, avd okay so let's type a string code with a num and uh, click on the generate button so we have a qr code generated here and uh, as you can see we have chosen a large size so the visibility is clear now i will type some other string so we have a different qr code there now so in this way you can also create a qr code generator application using this simple steps by using that library thanks for watching our tutorial visit our blog this is the url codevedanam.blogspot.com and subscribe to codevedanam for further new videos thank you